Donald Trump ranked as worst as president in history. With Joe Biden 14th survey of 150 for scholars places 45th president behind even historically calamitous chief executives linked to civil war Donald Trump finished 45th and rock bottom of a list ranking us presidents by greatness, trailing even historically calamitous chief executives who failed to stop the civil war or botched. Its aftermath, worse for the likely Republican nominee this year, his probable opponent, Joe Biden. Debuted at number 14, Ditton's most important achievements may be that he rescued the presidency from Trump, resumed a more traditional style of presidential leadership, and is gearing up to keep the office out of his predecessor's hands this fall. Justin Vaughn and Brandon Roddinghouse, the political scientists behind the survey, wrote in the Los Angeles Times, Roddinghouse, of the University of Houston, and Vaughn, from Coastal Carolina University, considered responses from 150 for scholars, most connected to the American Political Science Association, the aim, the author said, was to create a ranking of presidential greatness that covered all presidents from George Washington to Joe Biden. In succession to such lists compiled in 2015 and 2018, to do this, we asked respondents to rate each president on a scale of 0 to 100 for their overall greatness, with 0 equals failure, 50 equals average, and 100 equals great. We then averaged the ratings for each president and ranked them from highest average to lowest. At the top of the chart, there was little change from previous surveys, the latter of which also saw Trump, then in office, placed last. Abraham Lincoln who won the Civil War and ended slavery, was ranked first, ahead of Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who saw the US through the Great Depression and the Second World War. Next came George Washington, the first president, who won independence from Britain, Teddy Roosevelt, Thomas Jefferson and Harry Truman, Barack Obama, the first black president, to whom Biden was vice president between 2009 and 2017, was seventh, up nine places, Considering drops for Andrew Jackson 9th in 2015 to 21st now and Woodrow Wilson 10th to 15th, Roddinghouse and Vaughn noted the impact of campaigns for racial justice. Their reputations have consistently suffered in recent years as modern politics lead scholars to assess their early 19th than 20th century presidencies ever more harshly, especially their unacceptable treatment of marginalized people, the authors wrote. Jackson owned enslaved people and presided over the genocidal displacement of Native Americans. Wilson oversaw victory in the First World War and helped set up the League of Nations, but was an avowed racist who segregated the federal workforce. Other major movers included Ulysses S. Grant 17th, up from 26 in 2015, whose administration generated significant corruption, but whose attempts to enforce post-Civil War reconstruction in southern states including fighting the Ku Klux Klan, have helped fuel reconsideration. Grant succeeded Dander Johnson, Lincoln's successor and the first president to be impeached. Like Johnson, Lincoln's predecessor, James Buchanan, who failed to stop the slide to civil war, also sits higher than Trump on Roddinghouse and Vaughn's list. Trump is a uniquely divisive figure. His legislative record slim, his refusal to accept defeat by Biden leading to a deadly attack on Congress, and his post-presidential career dogged by 91 criminal charges arising from actions in office or on the campaign trail. In the presidential survey, Trump has also ranked behind such lowlights as Franklin Pierce, Warren Harding and William Henry Harrison, who died a mere 31 days after taking office. Roddinghouse and Vaughn wrote, Trump's impact goes well beyond his own ranking and biddens. Every contemporary Democratic president has moved up in the ranks. Barack Obama number 7, Bill Clinton number 12 and even Jimmy Carter number 22. Yes, these presidents had great accomplishments such as expanding health care access and working to end conflict in the Middle East and they have two Nobel Prizes among them. But given their shortcomings and failures, their rise seems to be less about reassessments of their administrations than it is a bonus for being neither Trump nor a member of his party. Indeed, 
every modern Republican president has dropped, including the transformational Ronald Reagan No. 16 and George H.W. Bush No. 19, who led the nation's last decisive military victory, the Gulf War of 1991. Accounting for Democratic climbs and Republican drops, the authors acknowledged that academics tend to lean left but also said, with a nod to Trump, what these results suggest is not just an added emphasis on a president's political affiliation, but also the emergence of a president's fealty to political and institutional norms as a criterion for what makes a president great.